How to insert Melodyne Editor single track into your Pro Tools session. Hi, I'm Carlo Libertini. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get started using Melodyne within your Pro Tools session. There are many ways to use Melodyne's editing power within Pro Tools. Probably the most common means is the insert application. Inserting Melodyne as you would a plugin provides a fast and easy way to begin working. Here, I'll show you how to get started. Here, I've launched Pro Tools. And to keep things simple, I imported a vocal take. Let's take a listen. And you say you think I can do anything but... Now, to begin using Melodyne's editing tools, to take advantage of them, really, we have to apply them. So what I'll do now is switch to my mix window right here. And here we have our vocal take. And what we'll do is apply it as a plugin on our first insert channel. Come down to Other here and Melodyne Mono. And the plugin launches. Here it looks exactly like its counterpart, the standalone version. It has the same editing features. We have our six editing tools here. Select, pitch editing mode, format, amplitude, moving notes, and note separations. Plus a couple of other features. But if you're familiar with the standalone, then this should look absolutely identical to you. Now, why do we have to transfer audio first? Simple. To gain access to these powerful editing tools Melodyne has become famous for. Tools like time stretching, pitch editing, audio to MIDI, amplitude, and even format editing. So in this example, we've got a vocal track here on track one. And what we want to do is I'm going to rewind my playhead to the very beginning. Now you can transfer just certain sections of your audio, but in this example, I'm going to transfer the first couple bars. What we do is we insert our plugin, we select transfer right here, it turns orange when we do. Now Melodyne is in transfer mode and we simply hit play and watch. And you say you think I can do anything but I can't and it's late. And maybe last night was a big, a big mistake, but I've been thinking I love you, but I still try to recognize. Now Melodyne analyzes the audio take that it transferred, and there we see the vocals. Now, if we switch back to our edit window, here we'll see the more conventional audio representation, the seismographic waveform. But here, the differences are immediate. Look at how Melodyne presents the audio. It actually has a more accurate representation. We can see each individual note corresponding to their, their length and timing, not only their pitches. So Melodyne helps you helps provide a, an extremely accurate visual to correspond to what we're sonically hearing. All right, so let me switch back to my mix window. And now that we transferred the audio, let's talk a little bit about how Melodyne behaves. Because what's really important is we want to know not only, you know, where the audio went, but uh, how to manage it. So, for example, I'm going to go to my settings tab right here at the top corner of the plugin box and go to file manager. And this window opens up here. Here at the very top, we have our location for our stored audio transfers. And fortunately, by default, we can see here that it actually directs itself to our Pro Tools session folder. And within that folder goes into a plugin settings and a further folder under Melodyne transfers. So should you transfer your Pro Tools session to a different studio, you know that your Melodyne transfers will now correspond to that same session and be transferred likewise. That's very important. And let's see some more. We have our, our preferences. This is also very important. And one thing in particular I want to point out here is this button right here, the very bottom. 
It says detect audio after transfer to reduce CPU load. Well, what this means is Melodyne has to analyze the audio before it makes the editing tools available for us to begin using. Now, if we uncheck this box, Melodyne is going to be analyzing the audio in real time, making your computer work a little bit harder. Now, for some people, that may not be a problem, but if you do want to uh, minimize your CPU load, simply check that box and Melodyne will transfer the audio after, and it only really takes a couple extra seconds. So that's a good way to help maximize your CPU processes. Now, let's talk about the audio. I'm going to rewind the playhead here and hit play. Now, Melodyne, Pro Tools uh, transferred the audio into Melodyne. So whatever we hear now will be coming back from Melodyne. I'll show you. And you say you think I can do anything but I... There. Now, a couple of important things to keep in mind is if you're using keyboard shortcuts, for example, the undo button, you actually won't be undoing anything within the Melodyne Editor plugin. Why? Because Melodyne and Pro Tools, they don't want to conflict with each other. So Melodyne gives you two buttons right here. The top one, undo, and the bottom one, redo. So it's important to keep in mind when you want to undo one of your edits that you need to use utilize these buttons right here. Okay? So this is how we transfer audio within Pro Tools. There's a lot we can do to begin taking advantage of this. For example, we have a lot of editing power right at our fingertips from the get-go. Here in the left column, we have our pitches ascending from low to high. If I right-click and simply select Scale Snap, we'll see that it correctly identified the song in the key of G, denoted by these bold letters. So Melodyne, whether you're musically inclined or not, is going to more than meet you halfway there to get started and thinking more creatively and musically. Now that the audio is transferred, anything we do here regarding timing, amplitude, format within the Melodyne window here, uh, and regarding any of the audio that we transferred, will now be played back with those edits. Nothing is actually destructively applied to the audio until we bounce our session. Here's a tip for you. Some people, after they do their editing in the Melodyne window, bus it to a new audio track and actually print their work. Then they deactivate the Melodyne track and then they can focus on just using their, their um, mixes in a more creative perspective and less corrective. That's just a handy tip and uh, it's something that a lot of people do take advantage of and I recommend you try it out. So in this video, again, we learned how to insert Melodyne and transfer audio, okay? So my name's Carlo Libertini. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to transfer audio into Melodyne in your Pro Tools session. Do keep in mind that this works with any kind of audio at all, whether it's a bass guitar or a violin, even some percussions. Melodyne is a limitless audio editing tool, and I hope that you begin enjoying this, as you can see how easy it is to start getting started. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.